The Advanced Settings page can be found on the Payroll Settings tab, which can be accessed here and also here. The Advanced Settings page is under the Advanced section on the right hand side. This screen allows users to set up more advanced settings that affect how certain aspects of the system can be used. The screen is broken down into three settings. Allow multiple top level locations, payroll ID, and unique external IDs. We'll take a look at the top level locations first. By default, when configuring the locations for your business, you'll have one main location and then you can create sublocations under that main location. However, there may be some scenarios where a business requires more than one top level location. For example, in order to be able to completely exclude certain locations that would normally be set up as sublocations for reporting purposes. To avoid the need for employees seeing sublocations, or if you need to separate one business unit from another. In these situations, you would tick the box, allow multiple top level locations. Configuring multiple top level locations does not prevent you from still setting up sublocations. Please note that when generating payroll reports, you'll see that you have the option of grouping by roll up reporting location. If you only have top level locations configured and have no sublocations set up, this option will not apply to the business as there are no sublocations to roll up to the top level location. The next section is the payroll ID section. The first box, which states Submit Employees Payroll ID with FPS, is already automatically ticked. If for any reason you would like to submit the FPS to HMRC without the Employee Payroll ID, you can do so by unticking this box here. If you select the Automatically Generate Payroll ID for New Employees tick box, you will see these options here. You can create a prefix for the start of the payroll ID and then select the start number. For example, if you choose UK as the prefix and already have 300 employees, you can start the payroll ID for the next employee at 301. We'll now move on to the unique external ID section. A business may use other external applications such as HR, time and attendance or expense management systems that integrate with this payroll system via an API. Alternatively, data can be imported from the external system to this payroll system and vice versa. In order to ensure correct mapping between employees and other payroll settings, users can add an external ID against certain components of the payroll system. The external ID is usually generated from the external application and then added to this payroll system. This system allows external IDs to be added against employees, locations, pay categories, leave categories, deduction categories, expense categories, and also work types. There may be instances where the external applications do not validate the uniqueness of IDs generated by their system. This means that some other mechanism is required to ensure the same external ID is not used against a component within the payroll system. For example, ensuring two employees do not have the same external ID as this could cause issues when importing data into the system. To avoid this, you can choose for the system to validate the uniqueness of external IDs against these following components. You may notice that locations are not specified on this list. This is because any external ID added to a location is already validated for uniqueness. If you want one or more components to be validated, simply click on the applicable checkbox and then click Save. There may be instances where external IDs already entered in the system are not unique. When you go to click Save, a warning will pop up on the screen and you'll be unable to save the unique external ID. The warning will detail who or what is affected by the duplicate external ID so that it is easily identifiable to you. If this warning does appear, you'll need to update one of the duplicate external IDs before you can save the setting for the relevant data type selected. And that's it, the advanced settings page.